The midterm elections are just five days away, and in a blue state of Connecticut, the race for governor is stunningly too close to call. In Connecticut, we're yeah. talking about New England, Republican Bob Stefanowski. He is narrowing the Democrat, the uh, Democratic candidate. His name is Ned Lamont, and he's he's just right behind him by a few points, as you can see in this new Quinnipiac poll, to within the margin of error. So could he turn that blue state red? And what? And why is this happening? That Republican candidate for Connecticut Governor Bob Stefanowski joins us right now. He's also CFO for UBS Investment Bank. Bob, what made Connecticut open to your candidacy? <laughs> We've got a horrible uh, economy here. I've had eight years of a Democratic governor. Uh, we've had two of the largest tax increases in the history of the state of Connecticut. We have a $4 billion budget deficit. We've got an employee pension plan at the state level that's $100 billion underfunded. We're the classic example of failed economic policy. And the reason I'm, I'm actually leading in the polls right now, in the internal polls, is that people want change. It's amazing when you talk about Connecticut, because everyone here in New York, everyone who wants to move to the suburbs, they say it's such a beautiful area, but taxes are so high there. Yeah. National Review claims yeah. in, two, in 2020, the state government spending will outpace its revenue by 13 percent, a deficit of $2.6 billion. National Review had this headline as well. Connecticut's gubernatorial race is a referendum on failed democratic fiscal policies. Is that what you're hearing from the constituents there in the state of Connecticut? Absolutely, and it started when we put a state income tax in in 1991. Before that income tax came in, Connecticut was the fastest growing state in the entire nation. In the 25 years since, we're almost last in economic growth. We're the only state that hasn't recovered the jobs from the Great Recession. Um, I'm running on a platform of get rid of that state income tax over eight years, lowering the corporate tax, and getting our economy moving again. That's what people are desperate for in the state of Connecticut, and that's why a Republican can win the governorship this year. And the thing is, you're a business guy, and, and that's in your background, but it might be counterintuitive to some to think, wow, we had a deficit, we're going to cut taxes. Uh, how are you going to sell that? Well, first we have to cut costs. Our, our spending is out of control in the state, um, and I'm a firm believer, you see it in Tennessee, in Florida, in Texas, that cutting tax brings people back, it brings companies back, it creates jobs. It creates revenue that we can then invest in education and health care and all the other things. But we've shown the exact opposite over the last eight years. We've had tax increase after tax increase, and tax revenues are coming down. So to me, it's only common sense. And my opponent, Ned right. Lamont, is more of the same. Uh, Bob Stefanowski, uh, congratulations on this run. Uh, you're defying uh, logic and tradition, and best of luck the rest <laughs> of the way.